Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms, and today, or this evening, chopping. This kind of stinks that this storm cloud's moving in because it's right in the end of golden hour, and we're gonna start chopping, and, I re and I'm definitely taking the drone up, so. Alrighty, so now I gotta fill this tub up with water. at my spray trailer down here at Jerry's. So that water over there, there's a water faucet or tank over there that doesn't fill very quickly, so we just have this one as a supplemental one, especially during the summer, so let's fill it up. Start up that motor. There you go, she's full to the brim. See how much long, I'm gonna go check some beans, see how much longer, it see how long it takes for them to suck it down. <laughs> that it won't be too long before they suck it at least an inch. So I just gave the cows some water. Let's buzz around, go check on the beans. For this stand, we actually planted it at 100,000 population just for cover crop because this was technically prevent planted beans. And it really looks pretty good. Like honestly, this is some pretty good looking beans. I really wish we could combine this even just a test plot, um, just to see what this would yield compared to 100, 160,000 beans, which is what we have been planting. Let's go take a pod count, though. These things are just about ready to start. Fill, is it, these things are just filling out pods. So I just yanked the plant out. I didn't want to walk in very far because I don't like running over crops. Let's count these pods real quick. There are exactly 90 pods on this one soybean plant. That's actually really impressive. It makes me really want to combine this just for a trial. So I don't know. Well, I'm going to talk to Pat and just kind of see what all the regulations would prevent planting. I'm assuming we won't be able to. Probably just going to chop this for feed. My cousin Nathan, who's out at Iowa State right now, is going to be asking some people out there how much feed value is soybeans if we chop it. So we'll see. We'll see what we do. We got 40 acres of, no, 50 acres of soybeans here that we can't harvest for grain because we took pre the prevent plant payment. So let's go back and wrap some more bales. Alrighty guys, so what I am going to do is we don't have any spare tractors right now, so I'm going to take the points off the loader tractor, drop them, and I'm going to go hook onto a chopper box, and we're going to go catch Pat and watch him while he's chopping. Let's go. All right, I just dropped it all by myself. I'm pretty awesome. So now let's go over and talk to Pat and probably hook up to a chopper box. The weird thing about this tractor is the PTO is always spinning. Don't know what the deal is there, so. Oh well, but let's... Let's get out of town, let's roll. I'm kind of excited, first chopping of the year. Let's go. I hear the hum of the chopper, the whine. That means it's go time. Means he's already going. He's already going. We're chopping off the sweet corn patch and it is nasty. Doesn't feed worth a dang. She's just taking his time. So we're chopping our sweet corn patch. It wasn't worth a dang this year. What do you do? So Pat's just chopping it off, and we're gonna go chop some feed. We're out of feed, so we're gonna chop two loads. That'll last us about a week. 
It's not the greatest feed because corn's not black layered. You want corn to be black layered approximately when you chop it. But well, when you need feed, cattle gotta eat. Cattle don't ever stop eating, so. Time to chop away. comes Devin. Shopping season. I love it. It's just a blast. I need to go dra grab my drone. Time to go get a chopper box and let's roll out. Let's get it hooked up. That was easy, now I just gotta find a pin. Good enough, now we'll kick tires. They'll feel good. I think they're all good. I'll take the I'm gonna head over to the shop anyway, double check them. That said, one of them, at least. They should have, some of them will probably be low, but we'll check, grab the drone, and get moving. Well, guys, for some reason, my drone is not working. It is, for some reason, not catching any video, and I have no clue why. Like I can turn it on, I can fly it and everything, but the camera's dark, so I'm gonna be very upset, but I might, might not be able to uh, catch the video of drone footage of uh, first shopping of 2019, or ch silence shopping, but I'll give you guys as much as I can here. So it looks like this corn is very tall. This is our first planted corn just north of the farm at Jerry's place. First planted corn, May 15th, and yeah, I'm just racing after him with the chopper box. It looks like he's full. I probably messed around too much with the drone, so I wasn't able to come be here. He was waiting on me a little bit. There's a pretty nasty storm to the north, kind of in between here and Bellevue. Probably pounding Bellevue, but what do you do? It was definitely muggy today. I mean, it was like 90 degrees muggy. But they ripped out this fence right here, actually. The the phone company did. The phone company owns this. They don't let anyone deer on it, so deer know that, so it's a safe haven. But anyway, they're fencing around this. So I'm gonna run up, drop this wagon off, and then Pat's gonna hook onto it, and he's gonna keep running. The ground is definitely tacky, guys. So I'm gonna take my time coming out of here, but first, I'm gonna hook Pat up. Hook Pat up to this wagon. He's gonna chop away. I'm gonna try to get the drone up in the air, but we'll see. Matt doesn't trust this hitch, so there's another hole right here. We're just gonna double pin it, make sure it doesn't move. 
So Pat's gonna chop away. I really do apologize. I was really looking forward to getting more drone footage or to get some more footage of this thing. But there will be more to come, I promise you that. I love, 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 love silage season. Just nice chopped up everything. Oh yeah. There goes Pat. FR 9060 Meyer 4220 wagon, 20 foot long model, 42 series. Let's take this back to the farm. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is guys. So I'm pointing the drone right at the lights. So you should be able to see it, but I got nothing on the phone. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm sorry guys, but there's not gonna be any drone footage tonight. I'm sad as well, I know. I'm really sorry. I was actually hoping this would be its own video, first chopping of 2019, but it's not enough footage to put a video in. <sighs> Lower my loader and take this wagon load back home. It's full, so I'm gonna have to take my time. But all my lights are working, flashers, hambers, everything should be good to go, so let's take this baby home. Woo! She is a load. We just had an inch and a half of rain yesterday, or an inch and three tenths of rain yesterday. We're really wishing we had this rain in July, but what do you do? But we're probably about a week away from starting full chopping season. This corn hasn't even black lettered yet, and it's our earliest planted stuff, so. I mean, our stuff back at home, like chopping our own stuff, that's at least a week away. Probably two weeks, more than likely, but the stuff we do custom work, I mean, it's it's probably, it takes us four weeks and we're at least a week away. But, so we'll see, it's gonna be a later year. Like I said, I, you heard it here first, folks, but I'm guessing the first plant date that we're going to do, or the first harvest date is going to be October 18th. You heard it here first, folks. So that's, a week, a month and seven days from now. That's what I'm guessing it's gonna be. And as far as my schedule goes, I'm here till Sunday. Sunday I head back up to Montana, North Dakota. And I'm there for a week and then I'll come back for two weeks. Then I'm away for two weeks. Then I'm probably back for a while. So I'm driving our T7 210 loader tractor. All ready to go up the ditch embankment. going up it right now it's a good pull it's definitely muddy so I'm gonna take my time and try not to leave tracks all over the feet all over the road because this is a public highway and I hate doing that so I'm just gonna take my time I'm basically gonna leave one of my tire tracks on the gravel and one of my tire tracks in the middle of the road that way cars and driving 55 65 mile an hour they don't have to hit this mud. So we're just gonna putz on home, mosey on home, going seven mile an hour. It'll take me a little bit, but it's all right. Brian, uh, Pat and I wrapped 45 bales, what we ended up doing. It probably takes about five minutes to place the bale on there, wrap it, and move the bale off. So, I mean, it takes a while per bale. That's why those inline bale wrappers are really nice, but. So we wrapped off 45 bales. Brian hauled four loads of liquid manure. Pat chopped two loads and I helped him with that. They did chores. It was actually a decent day and Devin went to go get some feed. Devin Stahl, who you guys remember from last year, he started helping us out trucking when we needed it. So that's nice, but you know, I'll say we'll definitely need the help this fall because we have two full-time guys and barely any more uh, regular help. Because there's basically the rest is just gonna be part-time. So it's gonna be interesting this fall what we end up getting done. But like I said before, I'm predicting us harvesting until Christmas. If, so on this video guys, I'll actually probably start, look to record a QA, and a a question and answer video. So be sure to send in your questions if you guys have any. I know I'm not, I'm very boring, you guys probably don't have any, but if you guys do have any questions for me, feel free to shoot me in the comments or shoot me a message, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you need. I'm more common on Instagram, so definitely hit me up there if you guys can. But I'm also, I do check Facebook sometimes, so. Just not as always. Not as often, but we're back in the farmyard. I'm gonna pull this thing in. Good enough, everyone. 
good enough. It's hard to see guys, but it is really storming up north, like really storming. It's just lightning everywhere. Severe thunderstorm warning, I'm pretty sure. But luckily it's not down here, but uh, my dad's ground is up there getting probably pounded. What do you do? I know you guys can't see me, apologize. Just getting out of the tractor right now, grabbing the drone that doesn't work. Real happy about that. So, but again, what do you do? It's just like farming. YouTubing is just like farming. You gotta make do with what you have. So I'm gonna go in, talk to my grandma, pack up a drone, pack up everything, check the weather, go eat, come home. Time for some grub a dub dub from grandma. Ooh, lightning. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me for today. Got a lot done. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, I'll probably be back. But, but it, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and be sure to um, comment if you have any questions. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, I'll talk to you for now.